Hello and welcome to First Lutheran Church. We are going to start our outdoor service. And uh, once you receive the email with the invitation, the link for the service, you're going to sign up. And once you sign up, I'm going to have a list of everybody that are going to participate during that service. The limit are for 30 members and visitors. You can sign up yourself and others uh, on your family. Once you get here, um, for the sake of uh, the video, I'm not wearing my mask, but all the volunteers are going to have a mask. That could be the disposable ones, the ones that you can wash, or the neck cater. A few things that we would like you to remind, because it is an outdoor service. Um, you can bring your hat, sunblock, your own hand sanitizer, Kleenex, and water. Because those items are not going to be shared during the service. Also, we would like to remind you that we're going to ask a few questions following the CDC guidelines. If you have uh, experienced fever, uh, coughing, and some other symptoms that are related to COVID-19. We also would like it to remind you that there's no nursery for babies and infants, there's no Sunday school, so you know that you're going to have your little ones with you the whole time. Also, masks are going to be required the whole time unless the little ones two, two years old and under, they're not required to wear masks. We're going to keep a social distancing six feet apart. And after you go to each station, you're going to be seated by one of the ushers. I'm going to show how we're going to proceed to doing our outdoor service. We're going to welcome the guest or member and ask, do you have a mask? I do. Do you mind if I put it on? Sure. Thank you. Did you sign up online? I did. Okay, and how many? Uh, what's your name? Pastor. Family. Pastor. Family. Very good. And then I am going to check the sign up and then after I ask the questions privately, we're going to send it to the first station. Now you can go to the first station. If the member or visitor doesn't have a mask, we're going to have available those masks that are handmade. Uh, we have adult and other kid size. But Pastor Ramon is prepared, so he doesn't need the mask. So he's going to go to station number two. Everybody's going to be required to have the temperature check. It is just a little sensor on the forehead. That's all. If the member or guest doesn't have a high temperature, you can go to the station three. On station three, we're going to give a pump of a hand sanitizer. The volunteer is going to do this, so there's no touching and crossing between um, people. On station four, we're going to have the communion part, that it is this little container. And for those that are gluten-free, we have also the gluten-free one. Once the communion it is taken, we are going to have um, members and visitors on their seating space. We're going to ask everybody to remain seated during the worship so there's not um, movements and crossing between people. We're also going to have uh, um, arrows to show where it comes in and where it Once you are in your seating, we ask you to stay there for the whole time because the spacing is six feet apart and you should remain with your um, household members. Once you are signed to your seat, please remain at the whole time of the service to avoid crossing between people. We're going to have the settings six feet apart, 
so we protect everybody. There are going to be two places where you can place your offering. One by the communion, but if you're not ready, at the end when you're leaving to go to your car, you can place your offering in a basket at the end of uh, um, the seating area. For the uh, sake of the video, I am not going to wear my mask at this point because I really want to point out a couple of things. One is that uh, I want to welcome you. This is uh, after many months of being at home. This is the first time we're going to be able to worship here in the uh, in the courtyard of our church. Uh, we were able to uh, put some uh, shades here and it looks really nice and it gives a really nice uh, shade for you guys uh, to be sitting out here. But remember, bring your own hat, bring your own sunscreen in case that you end up uh, in, a, in a corner with a little bit of sun on you so you are able to come from bring your water and all that. Bring your offering. As Dejana was sharing, there's going to be an opportunity to um, share your offering as you come in or as you leave. Bring your Bible. Um, you can bring one of the smallest if you'd like to, or that Lutheran one. Um, it's always um, good to bring it. You can follow through the message, through the readings. Um, really, this is a, a wonderful, wonderful, uh, exciting uh, time for us as a church. Um, this is uh, the place that I'm going to be standing uh, for the second service. And the first service will be the same thing over on the other side. Uh, but I want to remind you, this is the only people are going to be inside church will be people either on the praise team or the people helping uh, with the readings um, for each Sunday. So uh, I just want to keep everybody safe and we want to be able to worship in a safe setting. So that's what we're doing this. So just keep that in mind. I think um, that's all I wanted to share. Um, other than uh, I hope you get to register and um, be here. It's a, we cap it off to 30 people. So, you know, it's, it's who raised her first, gets a chance to worship uh, on Sunday, the 16th. That's our first outdoor worship at 9, 9 a.m. in the uh, English service, the first service, and then not at 11, but at 10 a.m. for the uh, second service, for the Spanish service. So that's all we got. I hope to see you then. Blessings.